we are going to discuss about who is laying hands on you who is laying hands on you because this end time i am seeing the way people are desperate for prayers i'm seeing the way people are desperate from one ministry to another from one church to another from one prophet to another from one man of god to another woman of god from one destination to another from mountain to desert to wilderness in the name of prayers and the, anyone they see they nail down the person lay hands on them please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, follow me on my facebook page at Anthony ministry tv do me a favor to share this message to many people of your contact let's join hands together to save life do you know that whosoever that have access to your head have access to your destiny anybody you ha that have access to your head can control your destiny when a false prophet lay hands on you he cast out demons inside you or into your life and when a real man of god lay hand on you holy spirit is taking over your life because many problems that a lot of people are experiencing today is the problem of wrong wrong hands that have come upon them in one way or the other don't forget that this end time is a is a time is a perilous time is a time you don't know the truth from false it's a season and a period you don't know the original from fake the bible makes us to understand that even satan will disguise himself into an angel of light so there are many people today they wear suit they dress well they, they put tie they will carry big bible and they are everywhere stopping with many people on the road giving them vision giving them prophecy on the road I want to warn you to be very careful for those people, that man, that woman you don't know, you see along the way who is giving you vision and giving you prophecy about your destiny. Your destiny is so special to God. Your destiny is so precious to God. Before, we used to see magicians in the market square. We used to see many magicians on the street. We used to see a lot of magicians in the street we see them different places but these days where are you seeing those magicians there is no more magician in the marketplace anymore there is no more magician in a square in a, in a village square anymore there is no more magician in the street anymore many magicians they say oh magic is no longer paid that what pays now is ministry what pays now is church therefore many magicians have become general overseers many magicians have become prophets and the prophetess many magicians are now operating and acting like a science and wonder minister and many people are becoming a victim of all these magicians in the name of prophet and visioners be very careful for who is laying hands on you stop looking for prayer collecting prayer for here and there diving prayer diving prayer anybody that say anything you say amen you must investigate before you submit your head to any man if you are watching this message i am not saying that anybody cannot pray for you people can pray for you pastors and preachers can pray for you in the name of jesus but what i am talking about is allowing that prophet allowing that visionary allowing that pastor that person that come to you in the name of the lord whom you would never know very well allowing him or her to lay hands on you you can receive prayer from anybody but for that person to have access to your head is what i'm talking about you may not be able to understand that many problems you are experiencing today is because of the wrong hands that have come upon you you may not be able to understand that many problems you are passing through in your life today is because of the wrong person that have laid her on you and said many things in the name of prophet, in the name of pastor, in the name of visionary, but contrary, is an agent of darkness. Be very careful. Jesus warned us concerning this end time. He said that on the last day, many people shall come in my name and they will deceive many. The Bible said that we shall have false prophets. False prophets shall arise. And they will end up deceiving many. 
they will deceive many because they will say i am he i am sent by god god called me which is running everywhere look at this end time nobody wants to answer a pastor again nobody like a title of a pastor nobody like a title of a preacher nobody like a title of a, 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 a title of an evangelist people now like to be called prophets people like a title apostle people like their title go be very very careful for who is laying hand on you be very very careful for who you submit your head for who you submit your head because as i say to you that anybody that have access to your head have access to your destiny he can crush your destiny he can crush your destiny he can manipulate your destiny i pray for you today that any wrong hand that have come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus, any evil hand, any how evil hand mistakenly has come upon your life, I command today be delivered in Jesus' name. Whosoever that is manipulating you, whatsoever problem in your life, in your destiny, in your marriage, through the wrong hand that enemies laid on you in the name of prophet and visionaries. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus, be delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus, be delivered. You see all these people, you will be going on the street. You are going somewhere. Somebody will stop you and say, Sister, oh, mommy, oh, madam, ma, oh, oh, God, uh, the Lord is showing me something. I am seeing something in your life. And the Lord is I should tell you this. The Lord is I should tell you this. And the, everything the individual said to you is just true. Remember, there is difference between truth and truth. Even Satan can see vision. Don't be carried away with vision. Don't be carried away with prophecy. Don't be carried away with vision. Don't be carried away with prophecy. Hear me. Don't be deceived this end time. Because there are some people now who know the, who have the information, who know everything about you. They will go and leak that secret to someone. They will now come to you in the name of the Lord in order to use you to do business because they have already organized the whole thing and plan it. This person, somebody knows everything about you, give the person the information about you. Somebody that has some pieces of information about you, about your family, about your marriage, will now go and collide with outsider and be, uh, explain everything to that individual. And the person may approach you on the road. The person may come nearer to your house waiting for you to come out of your house or waiting for you in one place or the other. And they approach you and say, oh, the Lord sent me to you. The Lord is showing me this is happening to you. This is happening to your marriage. This is happening to your business. The Lord is showing me this. The Lord is showing me this. Don't be deceived to be a victim of that prophecy. Don't be deceived to end up being a victim of that vision. The Bible says you must test every spirit. You must try every spirit. And the anyone you will try, you will never try. Never you believe that spirit. So you have to, time has come that before you agree and accept anybody in the name of the Lord, you must end up trying that individual. Even me that is talking to you now. The Lord said you must try me before you believe that I am called by him. Likewise, that person that will come to you in the name of the Lord, you must try that person before you are convinced that that you are that person is called by God because whosoever that have access to your life, whosoever that have access to your head, have access to your destiny. But when the Lord send you to a right prophet, when the Lord send you to a right man of God, when the Lord connect you to a right woman of God, when God send you to a right messenger, you will see favor of God, you will see heaven open over your life. I decree the blessings of God to rest upon you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also to follow me on my Facebook page. Also like this message, share it and comment on it. May the blessings of God and the, and the goodness of God rest upon you. See you next time and bye for now.